Reality? Reality? Is that you? D don't fucking wind me up. I'm, I'm, I'm... It's me. Honestly. Where the fuck have you been? Come in for your second hit of your reality roundup. Let's quarantine this. Amazing how history repeats itself. Usually it takes a while, but YouTube likes to keep things consistent. So they striked MXR because he used a video. Yep, again, the one you're seeing on screen, which is still up on YouTube, link in the description. MXR reached out to the quartering and his army crushed the YouTube demonetization army. Good for them. Here's a dramatization of it. Speaking of suppressing speech, Joe Rogan had a massive fallout with Spotify due to algorithm nonsense again. They said they wouldn't edit or block his content. Fair enough, but the algorithm will. Knew that was going to end badly for Spotify from the start. It's still peripheral treatment though. He's allowed stuff that other contents aren't. Great idea, bad execution. Not as poorly executed as the fire department in California. As America rushes to let out convicts from their prison due to the pandemic, of which California used as basic slave labour to put out the fires, due to the now uncontrollable fires, due to the fact that ex-cons couldn't apply for a firefighting job, something a lot of them have been doing their whole time while inside, California has now changed the law so that ex-cons can now apply to be firefighters to help stop fires that are now raging due to lack of prisoners. Somebody who could definitely help though is the guy who has been seen over Los Angeles airport 3,000 feet up in the air on a jetpack. Maybe it was the 42 year old Tony Lavoy fleeing the scene of the most embarrassing maybe? Most worst? Most everything moment in his life after being caught in bed by his wife? with his 64 year old mother. Seriously people, stop making insect prawn the top of bee hub. Could be worse, you could be the Brazilian politician Florides Los Santos de Sus, who adopted loads of children whilst being in politics to then get some of them to murder her husband so she could marry one of her adopted kids. There's always a funny side to politics. Like Antifa, BLM, social riots and bad economy happening in a country whose president was just nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. When we know a Nobel Peace Prize should go to Peter Scott Morgan for becoming the first cyborg in our lifetime. The guy had rearranged his internal organs, has a robotic voice box and one day hopes to be a husk of an MND sufferer in a cybotic body that is, very much still capable mind, would be able to control. Oh, how he loves science. But while all this is happening, the Dale Mail thinks Oti Mabuse's hair is more worthy of news coverage. How brave. How strong. I'd rather give these pages to Sophie Long. Link about this story in description about that very real, unsarcastic, urgent story. Go check it out and go search Sophie Long on Google. But to end the show though, here's a couple who got kicked out of a restaurant. Can you guess what for? At least we can get on by knowing that people are dropping bags of weed out on the streets. At least if you're in Tel Aviv, that is. No, Neil Buchanan is not Banksy. This has been your second dose of Reality Roundup with Quarantine This. Let us know what you think of the stories in the comments below. Also, let us know of any other strange and weird stories you've come across recently that you wish to share with everybody on this channel. Thanks very much. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for weekly uploads. This is Quarantine This. Until next time, take care and stay safe.